going on guys hope all is well today is friday october 28th 2022 i'm going to a no heat call to a commercial building it says um a couple of their split furnace split system residential furnaces um are not heating i guess they're starting up the heat for the first day and nothing's happening so i'm gonna go over there and see what it is I don't know if it's one furnace, two furnace, it just says a couple, so well, I guess plural. So I guess it's more than one, but I don't know if it's two, if it's three, if it's four, we'll see what it is. said hi good night like yeah I guess so well heat's off so start there fan off this one's fired I said it had no heat. Let's see what goes on with it. So we got flame. Let's make sure the indoor fan kicks on. Propane, butane. That sounds good. All right, it's running. Okay, okay. Somebody just changed the filter. Got to be real quick with that. Right. So somebody changed the filter. It's running. Let's let let's do a temperature split. Take temp coming in here. Temp going out there. I'll drill a hole up there. I'll see one. degree temp split so that's fine fan's been running for about 10 15 minutes 10 minutes at least um, I don't know it seems like it's running to me so let me check restart up now by doing this we're gonna do bring it down to 62 let it sit a minute and then we'll bring it back up to uh, 67. Let's see if it restarts. But right now we went off. So let it do its thing, cycle, and then we'll come back and put it right here. Dirty hands, clean money. HVACR survival. Dirty hands, clean money. Like it. All right, now we're going to start it back up. Right, so back to heat. 72. Ignition, igniter, the gas valve, the flame sensor, the fan. It's kind of crusty in there, huh? You gotta say, come on, guy. Really? Check the amps on my draft motor. Heating, so I don't know. Maybe they want me to check it or what. But I'm gonna go to. There's one upstairs that's saying it's not heating either, or there's one that's not heating. So let's go see what it is. All right, let's go to upstairs, wherever that is. 
I'm gonna go ask the lady. So there's a furnace in here apparently. Let's see, okay. Not heating either. Per the staff. Let's see what it do. Yeah. Looking for a nighter right now. No, no ignition. I heard the gas valve kick on. Nighter didn't. So let me check the board for power. And then let me check to see if the igniter. Let me check to see if the board's sending a message to this igniter. And then we'll go from there. Got 120 calling for ignition. So my board's sending the message to the igniter to kick on the gas valve, but then we're getting no ignition. So that's going to give me a bad igniter right there. Keep uh, cycling it. I ran it twice, so or I ran two cycles. So basically, um, so because our board's giving us the message here to send to the 120 volts to my ignition, I'm getting uh, nothing illuminating, if you will, like Illuminati, but uh, nothing, the hot surface igniter is not glowing. So uh, that's gonna be a bad HSI right there. All right, we're gonna go grab a hot surface. That's hilarious. We're gonna go run downstairs and grab a lighter just to double check my kind of diagnostic, but uh, we will run that. And then, I mean, I'm gonna have to write it up. I don't know that they just make decisions like that or not here. They should based on that, but let's see. Silly chill. Ryan Chalinski. As in, do not try at home. Do not try at home. But there's your uh, igniter's bad. So sometimes they glow and they're still bad. Sometimes they don't and they're usually bad. Sometimes they're cracked, whatever, but that igniter's not good. Alright, whatever. I'm trying to adjust the camera, I can't. one let's see if this one starts so we're gonna go to heat 64 in here we're gonna call for 67 I don't like the number 66 for some reason see if you add another or if you I don't know I just don't like six for some reason I don't care if it's even or not let's see what what's going on here Sounds good. Got an HSI that time on this one. Oh boy. I see something happening. I heard a gas valve kick on. Let's see what it is. And then nothing. So we're going to shut it down because I'm not going to re. I don't want too much uh, gases going on. Kill it there and so hit it with the meter right there on V voltage and we're gonna start it up and then we'll go through the cycle if I can find it. Nasty brother. Alright, so we got the board, so that we know the board's good. And then the HSI is igniting on this one, that's right. But that doesn't mean it's still good, so we're gonna check. It could be the gas valve too, so we'll check that out. But well, let's see if this is if this glows. And the time is blowing. I 
That might be the gas valve vent. Yeah. So let me check voltage in my gas valve. I pulled my gas valve wires off, which go right there. And we're going to set it to voltage AC, and then we're going to go ahead and kick it back on. Now I have it glowing. So then my gas valve will come on next if it's going to, if the board's going to send the message, or if it doesn't send the message, then we know the board's bad. If it does send the message, the gas valve's bad. Look at that, buddy boy. So it never sent the message. Well, wait, hold on, it's still glowing. Yeah, that tells me the control board's bad on that. One more time. Make sure I was getting a connection, but... That thing sounds like poop. -poo. Here we go, we got our glow. And we're looking for voltage here. We're looking for 27 volts, right? 24 volts, but... And if I don't get it, I'm gonna diagnose that the board's bad. This is not sending the message to the gas valve. Okay, nothing. It just clicked, so. It's gonna be a control board failure. Furnace control board on a 2004 ream. Isn't the end of the world. I think they're made in Arkansas, I'm not sure where. But I like them. I'll be honest with you, I like them. Uh, I think they're underrated. Lennox and Ream are underrated. Dallas, Texas, and Arkansas. All right, so this one's going to need a gas uh, furnace control board. I'm just going to open it up and see if I see any visual signs, but besides all that stuff, but let's see what it is. In my new E class, but that's all right, cause I'm still fly. The old, how you doing? Okay, so. Just give it one more test without voltage, without just operation. Just gave those little. Relays a little tap, but I don't think that's going to do anything. And if it did, that would still be a faulty board, if you ask me. I mean, or at least a fickle board. That sounds poopy. Gas valve should be kicking on. That's not. Failed board. It fell off before. Alright, this is to off. Okay, no, that was fine. Guys, thank you for watching. I um so there was a bad hot surface igniter there and a bad furnace control board. Um, but I appreciate everything. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. Please like and subscribe and stay well. Thanks guys. Take care.